Hey guys, Vote Taste Daily Vlog. Today is um, day 342 or three, day 343 of Taste Daily Vlog. Um, as you guys can see, I have at least bought a couple packages. Um, these two came in the mail yesterday, and this one just recently came in the mail, at least about 15 minutes ago. So we're gonna open them and show you guys what I got. I got scissors this time, so I'm prepared. Um, so I'll put my camera up and we'll start with the small one. Alright, so I got them all uh, opened up. Alright, so this one came from... I can't remember which part of Michigan it was, but it was another auction in Michigan. So what's going on. And this is the... Uh, Disneyland Adventures Simba in the Lion King Celebration Vehicle. And I don't know how many figures are in the set, but I will have to look that up and find out for myself. But uh, let's open this up. I've got my scissors. Let's get started. Um, I don't know exactly when the set was made and released. So if anyone knows, tell me in the comments. That opened. Uh, let's see what else I'm missing. Nope. Just the wrapper. That's it. Okay, so here is the Lion King and Disneyland Adventures Simba and the Lion King Celebration. Uh, it says Disneyland 40th. And this is number three in the set. And here's Simba, adult Simba, on Pride Rock. And let's see, it's a launcher. Oh, this is interesting. Looks like we got a little kaleidoscope feature with it. Uh, let me see what it has. Oh, wow, that is awesome. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But in there is a Disneyland um, picture in there of Simba and the giraffes in the parade, I guess. I don't know. Let me zoom in there you go you should be able to see it a little bit better but that has a really cool kaleidoscope and a feature uh this is a definite definite yes who is anyone of um, a big fan of the lion king and add this to the collection so i i highly recommend this uh, my next one is another happy meal toy i uh, ordered um, I have at least about a few more packages coming in, in the mail probably this week or next week. Um, one of them being, which is a gift from Shadow Blitz. So I'm really excited. Um, a few of them are actually for myself. So this is another one I ordered. Uh, this is a 101 Dalmatians toy figure. Um, if I'm correct, the set itself was released in 1996 for the um, movie One Heart One Dalmatians. I can't tell if it was for the real life version or the, or oh, the live action or the animated new movie. So if anyone knows if it's for live action or animated, just tell me in the comments. Um, what's interesting about their set is when they you know, release these, there is no number. It only you know, it gives you few specifications, uh, which it says uh, the toy figure right here, 101 Dalmatians. So that's very interesting to know that McDonald's has done this before. So I guess what I confirm is, uh, what I can confirm is that McDonald's had made blind bags before it was popular, but 101 Dalmatians style. And the best part is like, uh, I love uh, what they did with the packaging is you can't even see what you're getting, so you have to open it and find out what you get for yourself. So that is very, very cool. I love that feature. Um, I'll definitely seal this wrapper somewhere in the collection, just for, for just for because like I feel like it's something that needs to be remembered for generations. So we'll open this. I'm going to try to be careful as possible and try to complete the entire set. I don't remember how many figures there are. I'm pretty sure this is um, McDonald's biggest uh, set they have made. I remember they made a lot of figures. 
Alright, so let's see what I got. Oh, this is cool. So it looks like we got either a cowboy Dalmatian or a Dalmatian puppy wearing Roger's hat. That's pretty cool. Um, looks like it has movable arms. Okay, um, then there must be a switch. It doesn't look like the arms are movable. I thought they were movable at first. Um, now I'm curious if the head was movable. Okay, it's not. So it's not a movable figure, unfortunately, but it's very, very awesome. Um, again, this is actually from the 101 Dalmatians toy figure set. Highly recommend, recommend this if anyone is into the movie. So let's we'll put that right in front of Kion, and we'll open my last package, which is right over here, and we'll get started. All right, so this is something. I recommend for any Disney collector or someone that's looking for something for Christmas time. So it's a little bit of both. Um, I'm going to have to pull it out on the floor, unfortunately. Let's see, good. Man, this is really hard to get out. part is I have all the edges Ugh. out of there okay there we go let me just get my foot on top and just slide the other out okay got that out we're good so it looks like there is like a piece of cardboard in here which is interesting more pieces of cardboard, probably for, uh, to keep it nice and sealed. Okay, so this is actually something that I had as a kid. Um, if anyone didn't know about this, in 1993, there was a <clears throat> Christmas uh, musical uh, clock shop made uh, for uh, trees or whatnot, or just display purposes. And this is what I had as a kid. Um, I had this, I want to guess, up until December 1993 up to maybe 2006 or 2005. Um, this is the Mr. Christmas Holiday Invitation Mickey's Clock Shop. Um, it comes with at least about four houses and the main clock kind of right here in the picture. Um, this was an auction that was going on on eBay. Um, unfortunately about this one, which has like a few minor downsides, but that could be fixed easily. It's just missing one pendulum and the, and the light bulbs need to be replaced. But other than that, it should be working fine when I pull it out of the box. So here's the front. Uh, the front would usually show the houses on front, but I'll show you guys some of the houses as I pull them out. Um, let me turn it up. And if I'm not mistaken, they did a uh, carousel version in 1993, too. Um, this has some good animated features, which has four animated Mickey's Clock Shop characters singing, 21 Christmas carols. I should mention that they also added the, um, <sighs> I'm trying to find it, um, Here's the uh, songs that they have here on the box, just in case you're curious what they do. Uh, here we go. They also added the Mickey Mouse March, which is a non-Christmas song, but it's pretty good. And that's all the songs they have there. Um, really quickly, I'm going to take it out of its box real quick, and I'll just set up here so you can show you guys. So this is another reason why maybe you, know, you guys are curious why I decided to film downstairs just because how big the box is and um, let me see if I can get the plastic off here if I have any issues. Like I said just a few uh, minor downsides just this missing one pendulum which can easily uh, be found and the light bulbs can be replaced. Um, when you buy 
the original, which has the tool and, and that. It should help you, like, tighten the bulbs, too. Um, and I'm very happy to have this back because when I heard that my parents were getting rid of it when I was a little girl, I was really sad. Like, I was like, oh, I was going to miss this thing type of way. And lucky enough, I managed to get my childhood back, which I'm very happy about. Um, for those who are wondering what I'm going to be doing with this, um, I'm actually going to be using this every Christmas now. Uh, hanging on the tree and have songs going on, and this is just making things very difficult to pull it out of its original box. Ugh. Oh my god, this is so difficult. <sighs> this is not going well as planned. Okay, I got it out. We're good. Um, but like I said, I am very happy to have this in the collection now. Not only for Disney, but also for Christmas time. Again, I recommend this to any Disney fan or uh, someone that is looking for, okay, some of the bulbs just fell out. That's kind of weird, but um, I recommend this to anyone who is a big Disney fan or something that is, they're looking for their tree just to have a Christmas feeling to it. Okay, get the bubble wrap off the inside box. It looks like we got some instruction manuals here to fix the lights to it. Which you would need the actual tool to do it. This is so exciting. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's just amazing. Um, let's take a look at the pendulums. Get them off the tape. This is just awesome. To see my childhood back after so many years. Oh, let's see. Um, I'll show off the pendulums at the end of the video. I'm just getting them out of the way. Um, huh, they come with the stands. That's cool. Um, more stands, it looks like. Alright, let's get the actual clock set out here real quick. Now I'll just show you guys my Kion. My camera doesn't fall over. Alright, looks like a few of the clocks are tangled in oh, just a bit. Um, I'm going to plug some of the pendulums, unfortunately. Unless I can do it. Okay, this stinking pendulum is not coming off. It's being really picky. Off. Okay, I'll be you know, right back guys. I'm gonna set this up real quick and I'll show you guys where it's set up.